Hi, I'm Lincoln Bender. I am going to talk about rhomboid muscle strain or spasm. A rhomboid muscle is the muscle that connects your spine to your shoulder blades. And a strain in your muscle is when the fibers or tendons are either stretched or torn. And a spasm is an involuntary contraction of that muscle. How it happens. It happens usually by overuse of either your shoulder or your arm, especially above your head. Um, activities that it could happen in would be like rowing. A lot of people wear their backpacks on just one shoulder, and really that is horrible for your back. If it's too heavy, then it's going to cause a lot of pressure beyond that muscle, and it's going to eventually affect it. Um, poor posture, slouching, and not sitting upright, especially if you're working on a computer a lot, will affect that muscle. Symptoms would be pain in the rhomboid muscle, either when breathing or moving, and a knot or tightness in the muscle. In a spasm, you would feel it like contract, or it would make a weird feeling in your back. Um, <clears throat> a diagnosis should always be done by a doctor. Don't just assume that you have strained your muscle and go on treating it. To treat it, they will give you um, a set of rehabilitation exercises or ice. You're supposed to use ice 20 to 30 minutes every three to four hours. Um, possibly an anti-inflammatory will be given to treat it. Or massage is really good, and there's a self-massage I've seen that you can do with a tennis ball. If you lay on the floor and you put the tennis ball like right here and then just move around, it will somehow massage out that muscle. Prevention, good stretching before every exercise is a big key. If you don't stretch, then your muscles are obviously going to get messed up. There is eight exercises I found that you can do when you have this. Um, the first one is the pectoralis stretch, and you do it, you stand in a doorway with both of your arms on the wall above your head and then you lean forward <coughs> like this until you feel a stretch between your shoulder blades and you hold it for 15 to 30 seconds and you do that three times. And the next one is a thorax extension and you put both of your arms behind your head and then arch backward and look up at the ceiling and you do this 10 times as many times a day as you want. It's a good exercise. Then the arm slide is you sit with your back against the wall and your elbows and wrists have to be on the wall. And then you slide your arms up as high as you can while your elbows and wrists stay on the wall. And you do that for three sets of ten. And then basically the scapular squeeze is just squeezing your shoulder blades together towards your spine. And you hold that for fifteen sec or five seconds and you do that three sets of ten. And this one you lay on the floor with a pillow and fold it up underneath your chest and then you put your elbows straight and your thumbs up and then you pick them up so that your muscles are stretched. The thorax stretch is you sit on the floor with your hands underneath your thighs and you curl your head in towards your belly button and hold that for 15 seconds and do it three times. And then the side stretch is almost the same, only you would, to do your right upper back, you point your right elbow and shoulders this way while you're twisting the rest of you that way. Yeah, if that makes sense. And then to do the left, you do the exact opposite. And you hold that for 15 seconds and do that three times. And then the rowing exercise is you tie a piece of stretchy material. They have like um, special stuff at the physical therapy place that I go to where you tie around something that doesn't move and then you pull it back like this with your elbows up. You do that ten times, three sets of ten. And I recently went to the doctor and just got diagnosed with rhomboid muscle strain spasm. So I know what it's like to be treated for it. 
But my doctor said that in about six months, I should be almost fully healed with proper exercise and treatment. And prevention is really the key, so just remember to stretch and you won't be in my position. Thank you. Okay.